Hi all, and welcome to the Q Sports International and Predator. They present the Apex Wisconsin Open here, the Women's Open, second stop of the Predator Pro Beard Series. This is the third day in Baraboo, Wisconsin. The game is 10-ball with a $60,000 prize fund. This is a one loss side round to get to the final 16. The winner moves on to, no, the winner moves on and the loser goes home, obviously. This match is Pia Filler from Germany and Maite Ropero Garcia from Spain. And in the commentary booth, we have George Steachea and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Thank you, thank you, Tim. Thank you very much. Little, nice little match up here with Pia Filler and Maite. Uh, Mike there won the, won the lag, so she broke first but broke dry, so now Pia will take over. Pia is a 676 Fargo rated player, of course she's married to Joshua Filler, one of the top players in the world. And she's making a name for herself, her Fargo has steadily been climbing. She defeated Teruko Kukuleli and then lost to Soledad Ayala to get into this match right here. But uh, it's double elimination for the first stage, single elimination for the second, and did she get a hook? She's left the uh, right side of the ball available. She plays with a beautiful Sang Lee Q, and she uses the Revo 12-4 shaft. I was out there looking at her Q, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. Along with the other, with that black that uh, might as well actually might it plays with the mess. And she went for a quickie, but mm. one ten combo and did not get it. Left a shot for the one. That was a long way away on that uh, uh, on that combo. I mean, that was not easy at all. No. Tough, tough shot. And this one as well. She might have to play the cue ball back down for the two in the side. She's going to hit the nine ball, I think. She makes it in the side. Oh, awfully close. Will she beat the three? No. The answer is no. And no available shot on the open available shot on the deuce. She could kick to the bottom rail and over. That's a steep angle. She's going to jump with her air rush. That's where I thought she'd put her hand in front of the four for the jump shot. That's a good bridge. Solid. Pretty solid shot. Didn't quite make it, but it was a pretty solid shot. And she has left the two balls straight in to the same pocket she was shooting. A big opening for Maite. Maite is a 621 Fargo. She's uh, from Mallorca, Spain. She's the mother of a cute little two-year-old girl, sponsored by Starline. She lost to Christina Tkach and then defeated, actually she was forfeited, it was forfeited. Monica Webb forfeited because she was sick. So she's only played one match and lost it. And now she faces Pia Filler and misses the three ball, opening things up for Pia. Yeah, she really played it the scary way. This three super soft, the two super soft cut a ball in. I'd rather had went up all the way up to the nine and come back down with speed, just to make sure you you can strike the cue ball. Well, you know the four ball was in front of the pocket, so there's no reason to have to s stay close or anything. When you shoot that shot like she did on the three ball and shoot shoot it very soft, I like shooting it with the outside English to kind of spins the ball up a little bit, so you keep it off that rail. Pia looking rather intent. Sponsored by Andy Gabriels. Oh, 
Oh, and she's predator. got really straight on this five ball. She might have to go forward and then play super draw on the six. That's a scary forward because look how straight she is on the, co uh, on the yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's either that or draw back and take a longer six ball. I think she's going that route that you just mentioned, the last one, secondary. No, she's just dragging it. No, she came back. Didn't want to flirt with the side pocket and getting in between the rail and 10. Oh, this is not easy at all. This is a long draw shot. Well, and that tempo does come into play. If she hits it good, she strokes it well. I know it's going to catch the rail and catch the 10. I don't think she gets around the 10. She will need that, that stun draw on the cue ball, get to the center of the table, or at least that, that line. Yeah. She's faced with a tough shot here. Yeah, and, and she was trying to force the angle to come off. Well, she the she didn't really manage the time well as because the, you, you could hear the beep. And she was just she just stood up to take another look and then she forgot about the time. The Her beep went off, she dropped down, did something and she dropped down and just fired. Well, and it worked. It's safe. Well. Quite fortunate of course, but that's how it goes sometimes. And the first game here, let's see. Uh, oh, one second. <laughs> They're cutting it close, aren't they? In 2022, Maite was fifth in the Pr Predator Germany Open and ninth in Canada. Go look at the young lady from Spain. Looking at her opponent as she surveys the table. Saw them in her chair. And with all the balls in the open now, Pia will go to work. Draws the ball for position on the seven. Probably go with inside English. Will she play position on the eight for the side or the corner? Let's see what she decides. Did run a little bit far on the eight, but good thing is she's guaranteed to be on the nine as long as she floats the eight in. She could play to the upper pocket. She's going to the same uh, cor bottom corner. And floated it nicely like you just mentioned. Pretty straight on the nine, though. She's going to take that long shot on the ten. I don't think she'll try to move off the rail much. Maybe just a little bit of a cheat to the s side rail, the head rail there, and then go to the ten. No, she drew it all the way back. She wanted to be close. I don't blame her. And the opening game, this ten ball, and race to four. Be a filler. It's two races to four. If the players are tied at the end of those two races, it goes to a shootout. If the player wins both races, they move on. The other player, as Tim mentioned, will go home. These ladies stay focused in their chair and at the table. Apex Wisconsin Open. Second stop of six in the U.S. for the Pro Billiard Series. We had the first stop in Las Vegas, and we are in Wisconsin. Coming up, I believe, is Michigan and then Ohio. And then Puerto Rico. Yep, correct. I like having a school teacher telling me right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just looking at the paper and say, well, <laughs> he's got it right. <laughs> Tim and I have been having a lot of fun uh, the last three days, actually. This is the second day of the women's, uh, third day of the men's. 
in conjunction with the Wisconsin State Championships, the BCAPL and the USAPL Pool Leagues. Thank you, Sports International. Rather, they have their hands full. There's 56 seven foot predator tables in this venue, 13 nine foot tables. Nice break. Well, pretty but difficult dry. to get to yeah. the two. Quite straight on the one. Oh. Hello, eight ball. That's the old saying behind the eight. I know what they say in Spain now. What do they say in Spain? No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> 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 well, we've been teaching Tim some, Tim some Spanish here, and those were the good words we taught him. Some of the bad words you don't want to hear. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nice kick from Mikey. I think oh. she's made it. Nice shot. But no shot on, he's got a kick shot on the three. She may be able to go between the 10-5 and hit the three, I'm not sure. Look at this shot, nice shot. Now kicking between the side? No, she's shooting right at it. Oh. And it just either not hard enough or didn't get behind the five. And there's a look at that cue I was talking about. Pretty red, red and black. Nice shot. Perfect on the four. Yeah. Nice cueing. It looks like she's going to try to go forward and come around that six. Is where she's looking. Almost looks straight, but you can see there's just a slight angle that she can take advantage of that upper rail, the head rail, and then come over to the side for the five to the middle of the table. Not quite where she wanted to get because she does not want to be on the rail. There's Yuki Hiraguchi in the stands watching Pia play. Any other celebrities up there? Tim says no. <laughs> I'm still trying to find people I know. A recognizable face. Tough shot. Long straight and in. And we'll have to settle with a long six ball. Yes, she will. Oh, she was trying to get, oh. She was trying. I'm not too sure. She was She was really trying, working to come down and back up for the six. She didn't want to I be far away. I thought she was away. gonna drop it in and take a longer six. Sometimes there is not really any other way to, yeah, yeah to, to do it. It's yeah. I, I agree, but sometimes the players will force and try to find a way to get back up. Tim thinks I've been smoking something because he wanted to bank the five ball, take ball in hand and bank the ball That's to not the 10. True. She, he she was could playing have, with she me. Could, she could have <laughs> played a 5-10 combo. You know, sometimes... It just depends on how good she feels as well. Mm -hmm. Just, you don't know. Well, this tells you she feels pretty good about the run. She's pretty confident. Because someone that would be uncomfortable with the run would have really considered playing the 5-10 combo. This is the, I mean, I would go this way. I think you would go the same way, but. Now, if the 10 was in front of the pocket, I'd take the 5-10 combo. I'll take Kimmy's all day. <laughs> uh, she's gotten a nice place here. Little forward. Get straight on the nine, and then just stop it for the ten ball. But you can bring it back just a little. Nothing wrong with getting close to your work, as long as close doesn't cost you accuracy. She does a good job of approaching the shot, looking at the shot, 
from where she's going to be playing it and then walking back to set up for the shot. Good fundamentals. See how nice she came back for that. Might just looking a little strong here to tie things up at one. And she does. Tied at one. 55 points difference in Fargo. Maite Ropero Garcia with the lower one. Ties it up against Pia Filler. And you can see the sponsors on the side of the arena there. Nice LED lighting. The Predator table. Predator Arcadia cloth. The arena lights. The Arcos two balls. The arrow rack. And we are in Baraboo, Wisconsin. There's your uh, sponsors. Q Sports International. Medalla Light. Camus. Rums of Puerto Rico. ProBilliardSeries.com. You can find all the information for the men and the women's tours. You can also find rankings, brackets, players list, Fargo's for the players, up and coming events. A wealth of information on that site. with a little bit of a tester here on this one ball. Has to come down close to where her hand is for the three. <coughs> Anywhere but behind that five. Kick that will be her attempt here. Made contact. She's going to stay behind the four. That was a rather well good hit and a good results. Made a good hit and was rewarded. Whether it was played that way or not, she got the hook. And a pretty good one, too. Yeah, she's called a corner, possibly going two rails. Players are on the shot clock. Made a good hit. Oh, right oh, to the, the corner pocket. Co look at what she's left. This might be a quick game. As long as that four ball goes by the 10. Or you're thinking the 4 10 combo. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> by a quick game. <laughs> I'm a little slow, Tim. I'm a little slow. No, I don't think the four does go by the 10. If it, if it goes, I obviously go for the four ball. Obviously. Well, I mean, <laughs> no. If if the table oh, is oh look at this, this is if the, if the table is open, you're gonna go for the table mm -hmm. here, with the five being next to it. But if it doesn't go, then yeah, well, you still wanna win. So Very much. Four ten combo. No. And another fortunate roll. She's gonna open a bakery. There's Joshua Filler looking on, cheering his wife on, and looking at Maite saying, that's two. And just keep in mind, the rolls usually balance out sooner or later, so we'll see some of uh, Bia, see how she ends up. Well, could be right here, going two rails. Clipping the edge of the four, bringing the cube all the way back to the table. Oh. A lot of distance, but the four cuts. Careful with the side pocket on the right.
Careful oh. with the side pocket on the right. <laughs> Ouch. Joshua's gonna give her that look. That's the three. That's three. <laughs> 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 yeah, things are a little bit going might this way here. But then you always got still got to take advantage of those because before you know it, like you said, it's going to even out. So That's a good shot. Now will she just come by the left rail here or will she go around the 10 to get on the 7? No, I like to just, just go, yeah, yeah, come off the rail a bit. Yeah, she doesn't have enough angle to really power it around. Oh, she might be looking to do different. Yes. Well, she's going to wish she hadn't. Well, especially after that rub on the tank. Yeah. Yeah, was, I, was I would have taken the medicine there. Yeah, there wasn't enough angle to do what she tried to do. You had to really force it. Yeah, going around the table. Need the angle to run the cue ball. Now she's gotten pretty good here again. It's not a horrible leave at all. Not at all. Because even if she makes this ball, it's going to have enough pace to go back to the corner pocket that she's shooting out of. Hard to stay yeah, out if of. Yeah, if she plays it less speed, then shooting the seven gets really scary. Yes. Because you're yes. shooting a blind shot. Difficult shot if she takes it the way I just said. And we only explained the case when she had made the seven. Yeah. This was the yeah, the other way of the story. Like if she had not made the seven, yeah, all yeah. this. She's given up a shot here and she'll probably keep the same side of the table for the cue ball for the nine and play the nine ball in the same pocket more than likely. Nicely done, nice speed. Got perfect on the nine. And this is for her turn to lead by a game. Oh my, but look at that. That was just a little careless. That was just a little careless. Now you can see that look, that was kind of like spanking herself. That oh was frustration yeah. right yeah. there. Wow. Big twist in events. That's a two game swing. Instead of leading two to one, she trails two to one, and this is a race to four. There we see the golden BK rush. Those are new. I haven't seen it till this till this event. I hadn't seen it before. Have you? No. Yeah. Because they have not been released yet. Okay. They look awesome, though. <laughs> I got they do. I'm a little jealous. I got the black one. Drive break with an open shot on the one, I think. From this angle, it looks like she has a shot. Take a look at the break again. Nothing even threatened the pocket. The one ball did by the side, but didn't really threaten the pocket. And she does have a shot. Appears to go by the two. She could have worked a little harder on position for this two ball, though. Probably going to go for some type of a safety here. I don't see an obvious shot, so she'll probably go off the side of the two ball and try to find cover. Oh, look what she's... She found cover. And there it is. Oh, nice shot. And look what she did with the two ball. She's lined up the 210 combo, and this is a very tough hit.
She can't use the bottom rail to come at the two. She has to go two rails out of this right-hand corner pocket to come to this uh, two ball. But the three ball, I believe, blocks the 10 from going in the pocket. And she does have a one rail escape. She does take her extension. She does have a one rail kick at it, straight at it, way above. Now, is that three blocking the 10? I do think so. Yeah, I think so too. So will we see her go attempt the three foul? Or she goes to make the two. And the run out? Yeah. That's what it looks like she's going to do from that angle. Pocket the two on the side, three. The four ball's tough. The four ball's a little tough to get to. But she chose the path, so. Well, and she cannot afford herself to get too much angle on the cut with the four because she needs to stay down for the five. Well, if she does stay where the three ball is, she does have a bank on the four and the seven ball holds the two ball. That's the one good thing about it. If that's the path she decides, she could try to get on the four from here. She's got a little angle that she can work her way to the short. She's going to go for the bank. Or can she cut it? She I think, may be able I think to cut she it. may be able to yeah. cut it, but that's oh why yeah. I said she doesn't want to have too much mm -hmm. angle. Then the cut on the five is going to be difficult. Can she cut the four, draw into the seven, and still hold the cue ball? It looks like she might. I'm, at, I'm wondering if she can go by the four, not hit the seven, and get a 5 10 combo out of this deal. Nope. She got, a, she got the seven, and it took her below the five instead of above the five. She's called the ball in the corner. She's indicated that that's where she's going with it. Six ball will probably go either to the side or to the corner depending where she ends up with her cue ball. How much does she want to move this cue ball? Nice shot. Be aware of the side pocket. As long as she's above center, doesn't threaten. So that's great. Good shot. Not quite over the eight, so she's in good shape. She might be a little hampered by the eight there. Nicely done. She'll f Whoa, she looks like she's going to have to run down and up towards the nine. As long as she gets above the spot, I think. I think her speed would be nice if she could get to the side pocket where she's not stretched out and close to the nine. Just a little left of center on the English. Couldn't get any better. No. All you have to do is really make this ball, and the ten ball, the cue ball, falls right in line for the ten. But make the ball. She came and got close. Again, to tie things up. Yeah, just has to make sure her mi her mind stays straight because she could start thinking, well, what if I had made that nine? Then I would have already been on the hill. Yes. That little careless nine that she left out for Pia the last game. In the side pocket. 
These ladies are playing for a first prize of seventeen thousand dollars. Second prize of ten. But more importantly, they're playing to get into that final sixteen, which they're one match away from. They have to play this one and one more. Meanwhile, I think right now the ladies, there's some ladies playing for the winner's qualification already. Let's see. Oh, we can find out. We're going to try to find out. We haven't had internet back here. <laughs> here we are. Yes, they are. That uh, just, oh, it kept me there. Good. Playing the loser round, and at 7:30 tonight, they start playing. There's eight players, eight matches for the winners' qualification. So we still have 16 players that have not lost a match. Well, this is a loser round two mm -hmm. match. The winner of this will still need to win two more matches to get to that last 16. So. It's quite, the yes. quite a long road. This is yes. a pretty strong match for yeah, that early in the loser round. That's why it's best to um, stay on the winner's side. On the winner's side, you win three matches, and you're in the final 16. On the loser's side, if you lose one, you're going to have to play. This is their third match, and you have to play two more. So that's five matches instead of three. Little follow shot here for the two, and then it opens up with the four ball still a problem. The one, two, oh, three. Shoot. I think you can get on the four. It's just a problem. Two in the bottom left corner, three in the side, then run. Get the three in the side, maybe move up a little bit down to the seven. Yeah, she's got to maintain that position with the cue ball because she wants to stay there. Ooh, and that was just trying to hold the three, the cue ball to be perfect on the I three. I thought she was really straight on the two, and she was trying to cheat it, but. Yeah, it could be. But that was, you know, all about holding that cue ball in the right position to stop it on the three and being perfect on the four. Well, she hasn't done too bad. The two ball is really nothing offensive that she can do. Offensive, not offensive. And she's gonna find cover down there. It looks the way she's gonna hit the seven and not find cover. Can she go? She can't go straight at it, but she can go rail first, but does the eight ball block the rail first? Yeah, I think so. I think her best option is to kick over the short rail. And that's where she's going. As we see her line this up. And she's done a nice job trying to hold behind the six. It looks like she might have held behind the eight for a fairly defensive shot. It's tight. Only the player can tell. We can't tell from this angle. And looks like she can see the deuce to make it. Yeah, especially if you play with right spin. Oh, she I guess she like could. It. No, she could only see the, the middle of the ball. And she's done a pretty good job here. She got has. nice cover. He has brought her jump cue just in case. kick and stick from the back. She's going straight at it. Nice hit. She's going to find cover down here. Or not. Oh, she found what, what I like to call a lazy safety over a ball. Well, I 
4C filler being hooped soon though. Bank the two ball straight down table and get the cue ball in the top right corner behind the six. Could double up with the six, the eight, and then block the kick shots by the 10 and the 5-4. And you know, just the speed that it takes to bank that eight ball past the three, or that two ball past the three, is the right speed for the cue ball to lay up on the six. Yeah. Well, and you don't really have to get, yeah, you don't have to stick the cue ball with the six as long as you create the separation, you get those balls in between. Oh, I did not like this. Well, she didn't try to bank the ball but down. She just cut it thin and wanted to use the six ball to cover. But it's still a pretty good safety. Yeah. Uh, I'm going off the high side of the two behind the nine. Cut the two ball very thin. Nicely done by Pia. Straightforward kick shot again, hitting the left side of the two as we look at this ball and the kick. Uh, the cue ball could find cover behind the nine if, if the speed's good. And she found cover behind the six. Tough hit. I she might, she, can she see might it. make it. She can see it, huh? Okay. Well. Well, she rearranged the furniture there. Now can she draw into that seven ball? Get that seven away? Leave the cue ball right there and still have the three? I think she. I think so. Well, does that three go mm, by the five? Uh, barely. I, I mean, I think it still goes, but not. Not comfortable. I think because of the because of the new cloth, she can slide it off that uh, off the side there. No, she couldn't, or no, she didn't. Yeah, I think she was also trying to get a little bit more to the left to stay away from queuing over the five or anything to shoot the four on the side. So, thinning the three, cue ball back down table. Pia's done a good job here. Uh, she would be, would be very unfortunate to have a window between those two, the 10 and the seven there. Ten and the four, excuse me. A soft kick on this three could give her good results and stay behind the five. Or a lot of speed. Like that. Great shot. I'm telling you, Maite has not been slow in getting rolls. Good look at that same league too. It's pretty. Nice. Oh, I thought she made that ball. That was a nice hit. Nice oh, attempt. Oh, and that cue ball. She's going to no. be okay. Okay. Mighty's getting the she rolls. She does have a shot Pia's here. Pia's not getting the bad rolls. does seem to go past the seven into the corner pocket. But she's shooting to the upper side. I looked at the wrong, <laughs> wrong side to the go to the ball. <laughs> 
sometimes I can get confused, folks. I think she's going to roll up on the eight, don't you? Well, if I can see the table, there we go. She's going to roll up behind the five. Oh, that's some good cue ball control. She chose to get a little bit more distance in compared to that roll up on the eight. And now she's at the kick shot towards this three ball. And she's got to hit it just right. She'll probably call the eight just in case. Little jig shot. J-I-C, just in case. Oh, this is a scratch shot. It looks almost a scratch shot. It's close. Now, does this go by the seven? No. This one doesn't. Does this shot? Yes. But can she pocket the ball and not scratch? She's not even going to try it. She's going to the left side of the three and finding cover again if possible. No cover. She's got the cut for the side pocket and the cue ball two rails for position on the four. It looks like she will avoid the nine ball. Uh, maybe not. We'll see what she can handle here. But it looks like she, no, she couldn't. Let's see if Pia takes the scenic route around the 610. Well, it's pretty tough. Yeah, it is. She's got to spin that ball real well. And avoid the nine. So she's going to come That's why she's the playing nine. low yeah, right. She's playing low right. That's right. And also, this way, if you don't stroke it nicely, most she's of the people draw into the nine. She's there. She stroked it nicely and got exactly where she had to get. Nice confident stroke there. Six ball, five ball to the six. Looks like she's pretty straight. Slight, slight. No, she's pretty straight. Straight in on the six to the corner. Might have a little angle going to the left here. So she's going to get more distance on the seven. She going to settle maybe to draw a little bit under the ten and then cut the seven and go back and forth. Looks like it. Oh. She's going to stop right there for the seven. Little cut back and forth for the eight. Yeah, up and down. Looking good to take the three to two lead and break to get on the hill. She's on the hill, excuse me, break to um, win the first set. Yeah, good finish. Good finish here. Some good stuff. A filler on the hill. 3 2. Neither player has won two games in a row. They've exchanged, they've traded punches. 
game to game. Angela Williams, our referee. Racking the balls. See how right eye, right eye dominant Pia is as she strokes. She holds the cue right underneath that right eye. Nine ball, no. She's one been, ball, no. She's been cutting the one so much. Like if you look at where the cue ball goes, I just watch it here. Yeah. See the one gets like two balls well, too low because yeah. the cue ball is going to the second diamond. You know, if you break like this twice, you know that, of course, it can happen. But she's been breaking a couple times, and she's been having exactly the same results. Well, you know, it could be that uh, she's putting a little oomph into it, and when she oomphs it, um, she's losing accuracy and hitting it just a little bit off to a side. So push out played. I'm playing the bank shot. There's not much future in. Yeah, the cue ball comes right down by the pocket, by the two ball, naturally. Hits the side, ra the head rail there, and comes right by the four to the two. Different option, trying to play the save behind the four. I think she did well there. I think she got it. Did, yeah. Didn't like your aggressive option there. It was a defensive option. The cue ball is going to come down by the five eight. I thought. Oh, sh she didn't like it. Well, <laughs> she she's she played a good shot. I like what she's played there. Yeah, she's forced her opponent to go for the jump cue. Yeah. Now wondering, did she call the one on the side or the nine ball? Must have called the nine ball just in case. And, well, separation. And cover, maybe? Behind the eight? Well, tough enough to get another visit. Just because of where the, the two ball is. The, the eight five are doubled up, so the two ball doesn't go. We'll be able to see here. Nope, no, we won't. I think she can make the one, but then there's a scratch, then there's stuff to get on the two. There's. She might have to roll up on the seven. Thin cut. Actually, it's a pretty thick cut on the one. It's got to be careful with the cue stick. Can she bring the cue ball around close to the two? And the answer is yes. Safety number two. She could have come up a little higher with the cue ball. This makes it a very easy kick and stick. And she should be able to hold the cue ball behind the five. I was guessing her to go the other way around, to put the cue ball where the two is and get the <laughs> two ball out of there. Yeah, this was not difficult to hit. Well, she's left it, but I still think that five is tough to work with. 
the orange five ball. Three balls a little bit tough to get on. He held it nice. Good job by Pia. Soft roll that ball and end up with a shot where she has to play the nine ball though. Yeah. Or just yeah, or she's just gonna roll down and get another safety. Yeah, she could roll up on the six. Yeah. The weird noises in the background. Some exciting stuff happening out on the floor. CSI Wisconsin State Championships. I think she's called a nine. And made it, no. Uh, no. I thought that double kiss was gonna push it in the pocket. She does not have a shot on the three. It seems to be off the rail, so she may be able to carry the nine. May be able to. It looks like it'll double kiss. It's tough. She may be able to do it softly, yes. She did use the double kiss. Watch this. No. Did it no, kiss? I, th I it, think it went she, straight. Well, or she had the double kiss just on the right side. Yeah. It was really fast, yeah. but either way, she played a good shot there. Sure did. Now the five. Let's lay this on the left side of the five, and if you can't make it, hold it for a safety. Yeah, I think if you can get along the left long rail, you might be able to make the orange five. Mm -hmm. From here, perfect view to see what kind of angle she has on the four. I think she can get there. upcoming matches coming up at 7.30 tonight, which are in the winner's qualification, which means that all 16 players are undefeated. I see players the likes of Kelly Fisher, Allison Fisher, Che Yu Chao, Soledad Ayala, Seo Seo, Katie McIntosh is still way, way, Caroline Powell, Amber Chen, Christina Tkach, Sarah Rocha, Margaret Fefalova, and Bean Hung, still hang, all hanging in undefeated. Half of them will go to the loser's bracket at 7.30 though. Yeah, so she couldn't make the five, Maite, left it for Pia, and Pia's got perfect on the six, and this is to Close the first set. Nice shot there. You know, one of the things I realized just reading off those names, this is a very strong women's field. It's a very strong women's field. Drawing back for the 10 in the bottom right corner. 
would you consider going forward for the yes. 10 in the side? Yes. I, I like that too because it lays, it lays easy. Pocket speed, you just ro slow roll it in. You know, it kind of lays easy both ways. It's just preference, personal preference as to what, Probably, you yeah. what you're more comfortable doing. I'm glad we agree. Finally. <laughs> 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 nice shot, but nice shooting by Pia. And with that game, she takes the first set, four to two. And that means we're gonna go for a short little break. We'll be right back for you guys. Stay tuned. back. Hope you enjoyed your commercial break. Pia Filler has won the first set, four to two, if you're just joining us. We are in Wisconsin, in Baraboo, at the Ho-Chunk Gaming Casino, Wisconsin Dells, beautiful area. Had a nice drive from the airport. Just very scenic, a lot of farmland. Didn't stop to buy any cheese, though. Yeah, we haven't really seen much more. All we've seen <laughs> is the back <laughs> of this alley where we're sitting. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> For the last three days. Uh, and we've seen some great pool, though. I, I will say that. Yeah, we are in a pretty good spot right here, but sometimes we like to maybe get out for some nice food. Yeah. Actually, they've been feeding us pretty good. Uh, one of the things that I will, I will say yeah. is when you guys hear sounds of silence from us, it's because we're turning off the mics as they bring by the food, the food carts and beer carts and things of that nature. That's why you're hearing some very uh, long well, silence so, so spots. So some yeah. breaks here and there, yeah. yeah. I'll catch some breath for us yes. too. So might uh, just left for a little bathroom break. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Again, Pia staying in the arena, which is quite interesting. Instead of walking and getting some breath, some air. We've been going to good look at the surrounding. All you see on the left there is, or on the top of your screen, is the pro tables. All the nine footers on the right are the seven foot tables. There's 14 of them in this room, but there's 52 of them upstairs. And when there's a couple of vendors, I think there's Jam Up Apparel. Uh, I think I saw a Jacoby uh, booth. There was two or three booths up there. I went up and checked it out. So uh, they bring some some goods to sell here in Wisconsin. Pool related. Jam Up does a great job with their shirts. I believe Federer Borst has his own line. Allison Fisher has her own line. Tyler Steyer has his own line. Uh, so you get some selections. Jam Up Apparel. In fact, I happen to be wearing a shirt like that. It's covered up by the jacket, but ta-da. Good job. <laughs> No, jam up, great, great quality. I wear them as well for my tournament play. And the players are back in the booth to start set number two, back in the arena. We're back in the booth <laughs> yeah. to start the arena. <laughs> they came back in the booth and we're in the <laughs> arena. <laughs> um, would you play them? Would you think we should play them some scotch doubles? We get beat. <laughs> we get beat, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. 
So PF filler breaking off. Set number two. Back to the action. A dry break with an open shot on the one, with a very nice shot on the one to open up the rack. Maite Ropero Garcia, Mallorca, España. Got a little straight on the two ball though. Not sure if she can still draw in between the three and the eight to the long reel and out. Might have to go in between the eight and the nine. She stuck that in reverse and just came right back. Between the eight and the nine. But no angle on the three. So is she going to go to the short side of the four? I'm purple gonna, four? I want to try to draw this. Since it's not on the rail, I'm going to try to draw it straight back to where the cue ball is now and back cut the four. Kind of like that. And is she going to be able to hold a cue ball if she back cuts the that's four? A pretty that's a pretty steep angle. I'm not sure. This is a scary shot to she play. You know what I wouldn't she mind She might have here? to run into the 10 or play with a left spin and run into the 10 or in between the two. Well, let's see. She cut it in and she held it. Oh, perfect. There's your answer. She can hold it. Well, it needs one more good shot, though, to get on the green six ball on the top of the screen. And she's pretty straight. So she's coming in reverse again with a bit of, little bit of left low to open it up and go up table or to the left on your screen. And that's exactly how she played it. And look how nice this is developing. Might be looking a little strong here. Well, during the match, she has been running out pretty nice, like six, seven balls all the mm -hmm. time. And then around six, seven, eight, nine, that's where the mistakes show up. Has been happening a couple times. Like also she's missed her like easy nine ball. Mm -hmm. Some safety battles on the five and the six where she got a shot and then didn't make it or no good position. Oh. Coming back for the side. I don't know if she wanted to come back for the side, but that's I mean where she is. It works. Yep. Well, it would be nice to see because in the beginning she's playing some good stuff and then when she gets near the end, she starts to struggle a bit. If she can connect the dots, it will be will be tough for Pia to not lose a set. Okay, good shot. And she's ended up nicely on the nine. Just a stop shot and it's going to stun right over and fall right in place for a... Uh, for a nice shot on the 10. I was going to say an unmissable 10, but we never know. Nerves can get funny at this stage, or at every stage in the arena. All players are different. She's in good shape. Just a little more of an angle than she wants. She'd so like to have that cue ball over to the right just a bit more. But this is manageable. Opening game, second set. And takes it down, Maite yeah. Ropero. Nice run out there. Yes, Strong. it was. And you know, I like the pace that she played it. I like the confidence she showed in playing that. Both were very nice. Yeah, if she can step it up, she can definitely win a set against Pia Filler. It's not like Pia has been playing extremely great. She's just been taking, she's been grabbing the, the couple opportunities she got at the end of the game from IT. And breaking the balls. The young lady from Spain.
You know, that makes you think. I wonder if she traveled with her two-year-old daughter. I did not ask she her that. I did not ask her that in the interview. She does sometimes bring her. Does she? Yeah, yeah. I've seen, yeah. I seen it before. Um, but I think lately she is not doing it no more. Like, i seen she was there in Canada, I believe, mm -hmm. with the wife or girlfriend. I'm not too sure from her. So... Yeah, I think I've seen before. I just think she now is starting to focus a little bit more on her play. Look at this 2-10 combo. I would have been trying to get on that 2-10 combo. George the combo hunter. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I got a big shotgun to hunt those combos down. Oh. It looks pretty good. Take ball in hand on that combo. I bet you make it. No, she didn't have ball in hand. George. No, she couldn't. <laughs> she would have had a hard time uh, going oh, for that. Oh, and well, she's got lucky there. It was a pretty good try though. It looked like she had everything under control. Just hung up the two. shot just couldn't do too much with the cue ball just parked it right there pocketed the ball now what's she going to do with this three it doesn't go it doesn't appear to go by the five in the corner do you back cut it or do you find try to find some cover i think i'm playing the cue ball one reel behind the five eight seven bring the cue ball one reel or the other way around yeah, yeah. she went the simple 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 way you know, there's Both nothing work. wrong with playing no. simple sometimes. Looks like a great shot here. Tell Looks you. like a really good safety shot. I can name off a few players that play very simple, and they are some of the best players in the world. Two rail escape here. Hits it. Oh, I thought she was going to come off that six and scratch. Wow. And this is developing for a nice shot for Pia on the three ball. done and look how nice she's falling on the six with the perfect angle to go to the oh never mind she's very straight here does that seven ball still go in the it goes in the upper pocket it looks like she can draw this and if she can get it by the side pocket uh, where she just put her chalk she'll have a good shot on the seven I think she can still play forward too go can you, short she rail, long rail, and just if you can get yeah. around center table or a little bit more, that, that would be nice. That looks what she's like what she's doing. Perfect. I wasn't sure she had that angle. I thought she was too straight. Nice shot. And got to the desired location. Just pocketing the ball sends the eight ball to the corner for the next shot, but she oh. has to pocket the ball. Oh, this is a big break for Mighty. Yes, it is. Instead of being tied at one, she has the opportunity to take a two game lead and force the shootout. Not too sure if I like the way how she played that. Well, I am sure of one thing that if I was playing, I'd be being 
banking it to the corner and playing shape on that. You play safe too much. No, I, d I did not. I was talking about the seven ball. Oh. <laughs> that I didn't like the, the way how she's played the seven here. She could have come down for the eight, huh? No, I, I think I like the bank as well because Distance. there is no easy save. And was she going to cut with maximum spin? Spin is gonna make the cut even more difficult. See, again, I like to shoot the natural shots. And I do believe that that A ball, I think, was an easier shot than the, than the spin cut. So this puts it back in Pia's ballpark. And she's left herself some distance. Yeah, it will not be easy to cut the 9 and hold the cue off for the 10. She may be able to run into the 10 if she decides to. Yeah, people like to try to slow roll these and that's just not advisable. They just don't seem to, they always seem to undercut them when they try to slow roll them. Nice, but she couldn't hold I it. I think she was trying to run into the 10. Yeah, could be. Because I cannot imagine her not being aware of the speed to where now she's ending up on the short rail. And this is a long one. This is one each or possible 2 0 for Mighty. Long tumble. Shot to the side pocket for Mighty. Very Sur nice served, shot. served on a blade. I mean. <laughs> and 2 0 it is. Our referee for the day, racking the balls and cleaning the cue wall for Maite. Young lady has been much fun so far these three days. Quite a sense of humor. And she's left an opening shot for the side pocket for Pia. And uh, everything's available. It's just a matter of how Pia goes about shopping for these balls. Any difficulties? Actually, as long as she doesn't run over past the eight, she should be in good shape here. Going from the two to the three. Yeah, I was thinking maybe with the seven, yes. eight, nine, because you, there's still some traveling yeah. going on there. But besides that, well, this cut's not a gimme. Well, and she's a little hampered by the six. She's got to spin the cue ball around the five. But she's found it and got straight. Locked, loaded, fired, and no. got it. Okay, angle on the four. Oh, 
should be okay here. Just follow the ball to the rail and back across to the bottom part of your screen for the seven. And make sure you don't get straight. Yes. Oh, she hit that little soft. A uh, lot of soft. <laughs> yeah. Now you just cut the right side of it and go two rails down with great distance and leave it in the middle there? No, I'm going to go play the bank. Are you? Oh, what are you smoking over there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I like your shot. It's not my shot. I just think it's the right shot. And she's hit it, executed very well. Much we'll better if she hits the cue ball speed. Eight. Perfect. She's going to drag down. The only thing that would be better is to put it against the rail. She could play the nine ball here. Little, just a little draw off the, off the seven on the side there. Pocket the nine, and seven can come around. She's called. She's called a nine, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she would have hit it. Pretty weak stroke there, I think. Well, she got a little thick. That's what I said. I expected the seven ball to go really around the angle, well, so yes. she caught it quite thick. And believe it or not, this could have ended a lot worse. And yeah, she's yes, she, no, she d she does have the bank. You will probably like the bank here. No, I d oh. I don't like the fact that I'm over the over the nine, and and even if I make the bank, I can't get on the eight. Yeah, that's why I was saying. But your cue ball's gonna stay around the rail. I like this. She's played this well. Very, very well. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, decent layout here with that nine being in front of the pocket. And just straight up. The only thing you can imagine is maybe not getting ideal on the ten just because of the speed you will play on the nine. Ooh. Don't get too straight. Well, rail first. first and where is that cue ball going it's she's going not going to like this so much yeah, it's going to be a tough shot in the side pocket one of the things for a lot of amateurs out there that are listening in when that ball is like that nine ball was practice that rail first practice your speed getting to the side pockets and not going over like Pia just did well I always tell myself not to go too low. I'd rather stay too high and be able to cut the 10 than having to shoot exactly. this shot because this one is really not easy and oh, yeah. this is gonna get mighty on the hill. That's yeah. how important it was. She's got, you know, she had a nine ball hanger, but just uh, those shots usually will run too fast. It all yeah. depends how thick you hit that rail first shot. So I would practice those and make sure you learn to hit it with a, you know, half a ball or a quarter ball and know where that cue ball is going. Because instead of going one to two, she is now three zero down. Yeah, we are getting really close to a shootout here. We haven't had many shootouts this week so far. No, we haven't seen them on the stream. I think uh, uh, have we, we had Mika one. Had Mika had one. had one, and 
I can't think of another one. I, 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 I'm thinking we did have another shootout, a shootout. I, well, I know what I can. No, I, actually, we haven't had one on the stream. I think it was just Mika. And, and I didn't commentate that much. Mika you, and you were with uh, Dale. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad as well, though, because I'd rather see a lot of pool and then sometimes a shootout than that it happens every match. Well, I don't know. I saw a couple of shootouts that were pretty exciting. I saw yeah. one between Alex Kazakis and Joven Bustamante that uh, they both made the first three, then Alex made his fourth, and Joven made the fourth, but he wrapped the cue ball out of the corner pocket and scratched in the upper corner. He shot him out of Filipino, you know, wrapping it out pretty hard, and uh, came right up and scratched. And there goes the cue ball, speaking of scratches. Well, let's see what she's gonna give up here. Two balls locked, four balls locked. She might play three fouls here, especially because Pia has not been playing really well this set, and so she, she might want to just grind it out. And she can get a really good lockup right here. Get in between the rail and the two. I would put the cue ball between the one and the two right now. Two rail, the one ball out to the left side and draw the cue ball right behind the deuce. And just lay it right in against the rail and the deuce. That would make it a really, really tough, tough hit. She's playing the 10 ball and probably going to try to tie up the cue ball on the same shot. That's a productive shot if she can execute it. But this combination is what, seven feet apart, eight feet apart? Even with ball in hand, it'll be a great shot. But will, it, will, she, get, will she get the safety? Let's see, she's playing both, I think. Oh, she went for the 10 Yeah, yeah, she was going for the 10. No, I did like to stay in a little bit more control. Play, if you can play a good safety and maybe then play a combination. But this was quite aggressive. When balls are tied up the way they are right now and your opponent scratches on the break, she's giving you the opportunity to three foul her. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. What a great way to win a game, too. It really demoralizes your opponent and pumps you right up. I like going real first on this one ball. Pushing the one along the rail and then getting the cue ball yeah, behind the eight, five, seven, or six. I like your call there because the nine ball stops it and you have the five, seven, six, and eight to uh, protect it. And there it is right there. Well, this looks like a pretty good trap. Yeah, she's got the long rail kick. Coming down to look at the angle from where it's going to be coming from, which is the bottom rail, or on your screen, the right hand rail. And she's hit it. She's made a good hit. And is it nine ball? One. Oh, I think that nine ball just took away the combination. If the one ball didn't move out, the combo was kind of straight. That's a great call. Now it she does. can s she can probably if she wants still play the combo, but then it's going to be risky. It's not really obvious to shoot it. You know what she? Well, the layout I, I is okay tell. though. I mean, yeah, I think you can go for the run out here. I agree. And the uh, shot clock winding down, but she calls her extension. There's only been a couple of shots that Pia has, has uh, I don't want to say not managed the time well, but had to rush. Oh, my. I don't think Pia likes the shot clock. Well, it's also that if you start to play well, you handle 
things like a shot clock and referee, TV arena, you handle those pretty well. But then sometimes when you're not really feeling great and you don't feel the table, that's where sometimes you can also see that they start to struggle with, like I said, shot clock arena, referees, but all the external factors. All the noise. Oh, I thought she had made that bank. I don't know if it's that that might be causing some trouble for Pia, but I cannot imagine her having real troubles with the shot clock because she has played with shot clock before. Soft shot here, just pocket to three. And send the one ball to the right side and play the one ball in the opposite corner as the three. Oh, she was straighter than I thought. position on the two ball oh, well she did really get glued to that reel though yeah, if she could use some bottom English she could get on this four ball pretty easy but that four ball is tough to get on no matter where you're at And even if she pockets the four, uh, this five ball is going to end up a little tough. She's going to have to back cut it. And yeah, there's not really much she could have done. And oh, I mean, this is not really horrible. Like, of course, she wants to make the four again on the five and fairy tale mm -hmm. you run out but when you make the mistakes you at least don't leave the balls in the open all the time that's I mean, that's where you need to get fortunate a little bit oh she was trying to <laughs> run that up against the eight what a nice try just a little bit too much spin. You could see, really see in the slow mo. You could see that spin grab of the rail. Uh -huh. Pin cut, but it productive one. She will have shape on the six. Just pocket the ball. Nicely done. And positions there. The seven ball is hanging over the pocket, the side pocket there. So. Pia could fix this rack real quick and put a one on the scoreboard for herself. Ball on the rail at the same time, come over for the eight two by where she just now pointed, visualizing where she needs to go. She's got really straight. Doesn't matter if she will draw back a little bit or stop the cue ball. I think I'm going to go stop the cue ball and then go four rails on the nine to get to the ten. Little gallery, but really know what I else. Think Low left. You 
go short rail, long rail, long rail, short rail. I see the shot. It just uh, that it scares me because you can draw this too much, and it's it's the shot. She's gonna try to just go one rail at the side pocket. Oh, she's gonna sh go oh, for short, short rail. Short side. Short okay. side. Oh, it, and got there very very nice. Now she's got to make her comeback here. This is, this is how comebacks to get started. One game at a time. And the crowd appreciative. They want to see more pool. You can see all the tables in the background. Those are the nine foot diamond tables here. There's. 12 of them over there. And there's matches going on. Speaking of matches, what do we have coming up next? We have one heck of a match coming up next. Yeah, don't la we? last 16 match in the men's division. We have Fedor Gorst and Tyler Steyer coming up at 5 p.m. local time here in Wisconsin. So that's quite the matchup. They have a little history. In fact, I hope I have time. I'll be able to get one of those head to head. Uh, uh, printouts from from uh, Fargo because I think Tyler has has defeated uh, Feder once or twice maybe lately. And I'll be able to be a little more accurate with the dates and uh, scores. Uh, Fargo has been very courteous in providing me with this uh, their Fargo app that, that gives me head-to-head -head matches. It shows me how one player has fared against the other in any reported match in the well since like 2018, 2017. Uh, it goes back quite a ways, and it also shows the common opponents that they have played and how they fared against them. It gives me a percentage as to how they fared. Like, you know, one beats his opponents 58% of the time, the other one only wins 48% of the matches. Look at this one combo. Yeah, look at combo. this, yeah. This could be over very quick. Here, she did the exact same on the break. Q ball uh, goes to the second diamond. One is, again, two balls under the side pocket. Uh, if she can see this, I'm sorry, I am I am firing at this, uh, at, at this carom yeah, all, all day, day long. long. Yeah, all day long. <laughs> And she's over, over hit it just a bit. Safety here. She's Cube gonna go behind the nine. No, the other way around. She's going the other way. That was a tight, tight window to leave. She would have probably been better off banking the one ball to where the seven is and bringing the cue ball over by the three six. Or behind the nine. That was tough to hold behind those two balls because of the angle going in to the top rail. And might be PS turn here to go for the 110 combo if she doesn't like to cut the one in the side. Yeah, she's called the temple. This could backfire and hang it up. Yeah, it's to make sure there's plenty of speed on there to not give away the 10 again. When you shoot 10 ball combos, that's a preferable uh, uh, suggested way to shoot them. Because even though you think you can make them every time, we all know that that doesn't happen. And if it stays in front of the pocket, you've given your opponent quite the opportunity.
and doesn't make it, doesn't leave it. Well, she has left the one ball on, that's for sure. Tough layout though with how the five ball is there with the seven. And how the three ball sits too. Only open pocket is a side pocket or on the on, on the right side there. It doesn't look like it goes by the nine. Yeah, I expect her to go one rail in between the six and the five and then go two rails forward for the three in the side. Then she can go from the four to the five seven combo. Oh, it's a little firm. No, since she's from Spain, I'll say it the way they say it. That's mucho firm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mucho firm. <laughs> now, run into that nine ball, play with a little draw. I don't think you can hold the cue ball by cutting this two. Well. Will she open the five on this shot? A little bit of right center English might get her there and give her a shot on the four. If she does, I would like to play with quite some speed that I don't yes. stay there. Yes. Uh, she was uh. trying to get back to the four. And well, then still, she hasn't opened the five and the seven up, so this is not over yet. No, there's some work to be done. And I. Oh, she caught that a little thin, and. Yeah, this is a tough four ball. Not only that, she makes the four ball. What's she going to do with the five? Unless she kind of fires it and. Can, goes she, at go, the five. can she go around the angles and then drop in between, maybe? She can, but let's see what she does. That's a fortunate kiss. Yeah, she could have left that tempo yes, on. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. what I was looking at. <laughs> Keep in mind the shot clock. So she's playing a low left. I was thinking about maybe going low right. It's a bump. Well, she got a bump. If she had played low right, she could run into the seven and the five and then see what. This yeah, is what dangerous. Else. She better make a good, she better make good contact here so that she doesn't leave this 510 somehow, some way. Can she go off the five, carry him the 10? No. That, it, it well, the 10 is a little bit far to out. do it. But Ooh. that's, that's good. That's going to, that's going to work out for. I think she's got behind the nine as well, yeah. It's going to work out for her. For sure she's... No. Yeah, I was going to say call the 10, but that six ball is a little bit close. And if you don't make the 10, it's going to be in the open. I guess she's going to send that five ball up the table. Or is there a little bank on the 10? She's got a little bit of... She, can, she can't hit enough of it, I don't think. Is she playing safe? I think so. Yeah, no risks. Oh, Ooh, my. That cue ball. She's got a... Yeah, gotta think that through well, a little bit I more. I think we're gonna go to a shootout here. Make the five and then the six ten combo. It's right in front of the pocket. She's already eyed it and she is eyeing it up now. Lining it up and eyeing it up. Where do I need to be? The line is between the nine and the six with the cue ball. And that's a very nice line. This is a high percentage uh, six, 10 ball, 6 10 combo. Yeah, to go to a shootout. And a shootout it is. Almighty Roparo. She wins the second set. Wins it 4 to 1. Lost it 4 to 2. We'll go to a break and come back with a shootout, folks.
And we are back with the shootout. Take a look at your scoreboard or your, your screen here, and you can see where the cue ball is going to go with that little hand in the checked arrow and where the, the object ball has to go. They will alternate sides after four innings. If they are tied, they will back up the cue ball, one diamond, and put it on the back diamond there in that back corner. Meanwhile, we got to go four innings here. Mike De won the lag, so she will go first. She has the choice to go first and decides to. The 10 ball is spotted with a number up and the blue stripe, so they can't aim, use it, find any aiming points on the ball. And got to pocket the ball. If she doesn't, her opponent gets to. This is the Ooh. first one. And that's not a great start for Maite Ropero. Felt like there was a little spin on there. Mm. If you look at how it got off the short rail, I felt like there was some inside spin on the cue ball there. Well, all the players play a little different. Some like to wrap it out of the corner. Some like to play it just with above center English pocket the ball and the cue ball lands just shy, sh uh, shy of the side pocket and into the head rail. Let's see how Pia shoots it. Yeah, she yeah. shoot. see this is to me this is the best way to shoot that spot shot just the way she did and executed it perfectly. Yeah, she did put the cue ball also a little bit more to the inside to where she can put the bridge on the table. I put That's it right also nice. I put it right on the corner of the box. Yeah, it shouldn't be a lot tougher to shoot from no. there or no. from a little bit out. It's a half ball hit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like It doesn't really make the shot no. more difficult. No matter where you put the cue ball, it's a half ball hit. Oh, don't make it sound easy. It is. <laughs> <laughs> if you practice it 5,000 times. Okay, Maite Ropero. And oh, miss number two. And she's overcut it twice by quite a little bit. Both times she overcut it yeah. at the top part, yeah. And her cue ball goes to the same. Oh, no, she didn't have that English on it like the first yeah, one it's did. It looked, yeah, it looked exactly the same. Yeah. The first one had spin on it because she caught the side rail by the middle diamond. That time she went past the side with the yeah. cue ball. Well, most of it is they're obviously not trying to play the spin. But it's just how, how they set up themselves for the shot that they give accidental spin on the cue ball. This will be big if she makes this one, and she does. And look how, look how nice that ball goes. Yeah, nice execution and a big lead here. Oh, this is good. If, if Pia makes one more out of the next two ups, Mighty cannot win. Yep. So this is a must make for her. In fact, if she misses, it's over. Because she'll only have one more shot in four innings and Pia's already made two. Can't tie it. And let's see. Yeah, that's it. Pia Filler advances and Maite Ropero is out. Yeah, tough match, and like we said before, at 5 p.m. we will have the last 16 of the men's Apex Wisconsin Open. Fedor Gorsen, Tyler Steyer, 